We're live. Recording to the PC has started. Also recorded, recording to the cloud has started as well. Stream looked good. Back up is Thank rolling. You. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote for the Committee on Transportation. At this time, will all members please turn on their videos for verification purposes. And to minimize any disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Rodriguez, we are ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeant. And first of all, thank you to everyone behind the computer, the Sergeant who worked so hard to be sure that all New Yorkers have access to the live stream hearing hall at the council. Good morning and welcome to today's hearing of the Council Transportation Committee. I am Idanis Rodriguez, the chair of this committee. Today, the committee convenes to vote on proposed intro 2253-A, sponsored by Speaker Johnson, a local law in relation to, in relation to micro distribution centers for distributing goods via sustainability, sustainable modes of transportation. Proposed intro 2277-A is sponsored by council member Keith Power, a local law in relation to truck loading zone. Proposed intro 2279-A is sponsored by council member Antonio Reynoso, a local law in relation to expanding loading zone. And proposed intro 2422-A is sponsored by myself, a local law in relation to parking meters. The committee heard previous version of proposed intro 2253-A, 2277-A, and 2279-A at a hearing on May 5th, 2021. In addition, a previous version of proposed intro 2422-A was heard by the committee in a joint hearing with the Committee on Oversight and Investigations on October 26, 2021. Every year, an estimate 365 million tons of cargo enter, leave, or pass through New York City, of which 89% is carried by a truck. As estimated for the future predict, predict, predict that there will be massive increase in total tonnage entering, leaving, or passing through in New York City of upwards of 68% to 540 million tons. There is an increased need for implementing laws that make the trucking and freight industry much safer and more efficient in terms of how trucks deliver and unload packages, while also how they navigate the streets. Proposed intro number 2253-A, 2277-A, and 2279-A look to implement such regulations that would both Hope this industry and protect New Yorkers. Proposed intro 2253-A would require DOT to issue a request for expressions of interest from entities interested in facilitating, operating, or using micro distribution centers aimed to seek feedback on potential challenges or opportunities that exist. A report will be required to the council and the mayor as how the city can encourage and facilitate micro distribution centers, as well as requiring DOT to establish a micro distribution center pilot program. Proposed intro 2277-A will require all permits of 180 days or more for a street segment with a truck loading zone carry a stipulation that such zone may not be occupied or obstructed. The proposed bill will also give DOT power to revoke a permit or refuse to renew a permit for non-compliance if the applicant does not maintain a temporary loading zone. Prohibit the use of citywide parking placards in certain spaces in Manhattan. Codify new and existing regulations for truck loading zones and commercial parking meter areas. Allow DOT to authorize cargo bicycles or other sustainable, sustainable modes to use loading zones and create reduced rates for zero emission vehicles. Finally, 
proposed intro 2279-A will require DOT to create a public methodology for determining where, where loading zones are necessary to enhance safety and reduce traffic congestion. With DOT creating at least five loading zones annually in certain neighborhoods, if they are fewer than 500 total new loading zones, create citywide annually for the first three years following the effective date of the bill. DOT would also be required to report on its progress by January 2023. Ultimately, these bills look to ease congestion, increase safety, and improve the delivery efficiencies of trucks through, among other things, implementing effective means of regulation and creating micro distribution centers, new trucking loading zones, sustainable mode of using loading zones, and important, important reporting. In addition to this, this proposed bills re regarding the trucking and freight. Today, we will vote on proposed intro 2422-A, sponsored by myself. This important legislation would authorize the use of pay-by-play parking meters throughout the city in addition to pay and display parking meters. Pay-by-play parking meters would allow a person to enter the vehicle's license plate at a parking meter to register payment for parking. This method, would allow for the tracking of payments by the vehicle's license plate rather than paper receipt. This bill will pro provide for a more robust, easy, and effective way of paying for parking throughout New York City while ensuring that those who are enforcing such parking regulations do, do so correctly and efficiently. All of these bills seek to improve the quality of life in the city, as well as ensuring that the trucking and freight industry is able to effectively move and load items throughout the five boroughs safely. In addition, transitioning to a pay-by-play parking mode meter system would increase efficiencies in parking meter payment and would all align New York City with a number of other cities who are implementing such technologies, including Portland, Portland, Hoboken, and San Francisco, among others. I will now ask a committee clerk to conduct a roll call vote on these proposed bills and recommend that my colleagues vote yes on this important piece of legislation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on transportation. All items are coupled. Chair Rodriguez. I vote aye. Cabrera. I vote aye. Ku. I vote aye. Thank you. Levin. Aye. Thank you. Rose. I vote aye. Thank you. Second. Menchaca. Uh, thank you to the chair and yeah, I vote aye. Thank you. Miller. I on 24, 24, 22, 2277. No on 2253, 2279. Thank you. Okay. Reynoso. Permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Thank you, Chair. I just want to say that uh, these pieces of legislation are really uh, putting us in a position to be leading in an effort uh, to build a city uh, with transportation policy of the future. Uh, we have to recognize the dynamics of our streets and how things have changed, especially when it comes to how people uh, receive their goods 
which is mostly through packages and, and so forth. I mean, for us to be designing streets that are going to protect people and allow for people to receive their goods um, in a more efficient way, um, I think really speaks, uh, uh, you know, the chair's ability to really like uh, get a grasp on um, how New York City is moving. So again, just very grateful to everybody for today. Very excited about the loading zone legislation that is going to prevent double parking that is dangerous for pedestrian cyclists and vehicles alike. Uh, so I would probably vote I on all. I want to just thank uh, the chair, Idanis Rodriguez, for his support and the work that he did on these pieces of legislation. Thank you. Thank you. Ruben Diaz, Sr. Uh, I vote I, voto si, and todo. And I would like to wish all of you a very, very happy Thanksgiving. God bless you all. Thank you, sir, and to you as well. Council Member Holden. I vote aye. Thank you. Council Member Levine. I vote aye on all. Thank you. One moment. Okay, by vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, we have introductions 2277A and 2422A adopted by the committee. And with a vote of 10 in the affirmative, one in the negative and no abstentions, we have introductions 2253A and 2279A are adopted as well. Mr. Chair, we have one member outstanding. Uh, I'm fine to leave it open. If that was for you guys, just let me know. Should we go with the plan? I'll find out for you one one minute. Until Ms. my uh, close. Okay. So before we close, I would like to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone, and, and definitely as Antonio said, these bills uh, are indicating that we are moving forward in terms to make the city safer for everyone. In a non-transportation related matter, I would like to invite everyone to join Immigration Coalition and other advocates in a, in a rally that we have tomorrow at noon in front of 250 Broadway supporting the municipal voting rights. With that, I adjourn this hearing.